What's up, YouTube? This is the iPhone Fan 123 with uh, my first video of this type. It's sort of how to um, jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch um, with like 4.2.1 firmware using a program called Green Poison. Now, as you can see, I just searched for this in the uh, Google bar. Very easy to find, very free as well. And here's its homepage on the internet. You can just download it. Here's Mac, Linux, Windows, uh, take your pick, whatever computer you have. I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and close that Safari app. And here we go. So this is the Green Poison, um, <clears throat> the Green Poison, um, the uh, interface for jailbreaking. <clears throat> All you need to do to jailbreak is follow the instructions on the screen. They're very simple, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it now with my unjailbroken, completely normal iPod Touch. I'm filming on my iPhone, so I can't show you guys that. But here you go, you can see it's very non-jailbroken, very standard, very stock. So, I'll just show you how, how easy this is, and I'll walk you through it. So, all you need to do is follow the instructions on screen, and you're golden for jailbreaking. So, it just says, get ready to start. You press the jailbreak button. It goes, nice countdown. It's extremely easy. I did it perfectly my first time. It's a, it's a very, very, very easy process. Basically what you're doing when you're jailbreaking is you're uh, unlocking a lot of the features that Apple sort of withholds from you um, by putting in their own software only. It's uh, it's really nice to have jailbreak your device. Um, it's like I've done this, the iPhone I'm filming this on is jailbroken um, as well. So, I mean, I, I have experience with it and it's, uh, it's really a great thing to do. There's no, very little drawbacks, I mean. Battery life will go down a little bit, um, and uh, yeah, that's just about it. And you can always restore something if uh, your software if it goes wrong, something goes wrong. So, as you can see, it is. I'm not doing anything. It's just jailbreaking my device. It's complete. There's some code on the screen. I don't know what that means, but it's jailbreaking. You just hit complete, and now it's all up to the iPod to figure out what's going on. So, um, there you go. It's rewriting. Basically, what you're doing when you're jailbreaking is you're um, opening a hole in the Apple software, I think, um, so that you or Cydia can put in their own hole, and you can do a lot more custom customization stuff, you can, like, you'll see, I mean, like, this is the old iPod Touch second generation, I can put my own custom screensaver on it, all sorts of stuff like that, so, um, it's a really, really nice bonus to have, it's sort of like making your phone more like an Android, like, the reason people get an Android over an iPhone is because it's more, more like a PC. I mean, it's more customizable, less rigid, but jailbreaking it really, really uh, frees up a lot of stuff um, that you can do with the iPhone. I mean, that's right. I'm not being very clear, but in my opinion, you gotta do it. And so here you go. This Apple logo turns into a cool little skull, green poison skull. Uh, so yeah, let's let that go. I'll be needing my computer anymore. Actually, I will. Oh, no, I won't. So, uh, once you jailbreak your iPhone uh, or iPod, it is still completely compatible with iTunes. Any purchases you have on the App Store, they'll still download fine. Um, whatever, so here we go. My device is just restarting. Uh, this will take a little while. Um, it's just like basically the code that jailbreaking it is providing is sort of like integrating into the old Apple, uh, old Apple software. So, I mean, it's supposed to take a while. Also, uh, I'm sure you guys, if you're thinking about jailbreaking your iPod or iPhone, you're probably aware of what's called bricking your device, which means it's no longer usable, basically, or operable, um, because, like, the code is broken. And what you can do if that happens is you can just um, go to your computer on iTunes and you can uh, fix that up. So, actually, let's keep this guy charging. So, alright, leave that open. Um, so, the next thing I'll show you guys is, so, Green Poison downloads this app called Loader. You just click on it, and this will install Cydia, which is basically where you get, um, all the, uh, the themes and cool upgrade stuff you can get for your iPhone. It'll take a little while to download. Um, and, I mean, what Cydia does is you can change, I'll, I'll show you guys, but there's a whole bunch of really awesome themes, and, um, like, uh, cool apps, stuff like that. I mean, I don't do apps, obviously, but, um, themes. So, here we go. It'll, uh, I think it'll restart my device. Yep. 
so it's restarting. Um, so yeah, let's wait for that to go. Alright, so there we go, my uh, iPod's completely done, it's installed Cydia, so um, that's basically it for how to jailbreak your iP iPod iPhone. This is now a jailbreaking phone, which means, or iPod, which means you can, with Cydia, basically put in your own codes and stuff, there's basically a Cydia store, it's really nice, I'll show you guys that in the next video, but um, that's all there is to jailbreaking your iPod, it's uh, really, really easy, I definitely recommend doing it, it unlocks like a, a crap load of awesome new features um, that Apple's sort of hiding from you, I mean, for the price, you should be getting a lot more in my opinion, I mean, I'm very happy with my Apple products, but I think there's just a little bit more that they're uh, holding back, so jailbreaking unlocks all that, um, so that's it for my video, please rate, comment, subscribe, the whole works. Uh, really helps me put out these new videos all the time. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. This is the iPhone Fan 1, 2, 3.